Hey folks, it is back and today I'm gonna cover a topic which bothers me for some time and yesterday or this morning something happened, something triggered something so I was like okay this is the time when I just wanna talk about it and uh, you know seek for your opinion and what happened, I'm gonna start with what happened so iStream was posting 11 hours ago saying that I swear every time I drop a video of game mode event, so he's talking about the new event, isolation derby or whatever, um, in AB mobile, it flops, which means that he doesn't really get enough views or you know, too many views. Um, and that leads to the assumption that there is just simply no interest. And then at the same time, I ran across this post from Monarch this morning saying that, is it just me? Or is Arena Breakout turning into an arcade game more, more than a refined looter shooter? And for me, this point came when I did this really sarcastic video about Season 5 updates when we were in the beta. Because I was saying that, you know, mine, I, I don't need mine. And this is why this video is that sarcastic. So, sorry for that. Um, because I felt like we have you know, a bunch of game modes to choose from. And we are going far away from the, like from the core of the game. And let me remind you, there was a talk between ICE and uh, one of the developers before the mind map was dropped. I'm not sure if you saw that, I don't know, you know, the title, but anyways, you can look it up on ICE's uh, channel. And he was, um, I know the dev was asking ICE, um, you know, whether they want a new map or, or something like that, or the training ground. And ICE was clearly saying that a new extended training ground would be more welcome by the players. And, um, you know, instead we got the mine. So devs thought that putting in a giga huge map is going to be like, you know, the solution going forward. And, um, let us just briefly, just briefly review how many game modes we have. Okay. So besides the normal ones and by normal, the core ones, I mean the tactical ops, the lockdown, and let's say the forbidden zone, because it's pretty much the same, like three well differentiated stages. I was hesitant with the word well, because, you know, I, I would do some further tweaks, but this is one of the, you know, core elements and then the covered ops. Everything that is on top is like an event or temporary game mode. Let's let's try to summarize them, okay? So we had rush mode for a couple of seasons uh, at the end of the seasons. We didn't have that in the previous one. We have these new faction related um, events like the f currently the farm counter offensive. We had the same on Northridge. We had something like this happening in TV station and you know everything that is like faction related then we also had the recent team elimination mode which was in my opinion actually pretty cool the four versus four uh it wasn't like like fully polished you know when you entered the game there was always that that weapon glitch which kind of clearly shows to me that you know it, it wasn't like you know QA. I mean, it. I guess it was Q8, but they said it's just good enough to put it on to the global version. Then we have isolation mode. We had isolation in Northridge. We had normal. We had lockdown. Now we have isolation, lockdown in mine. And um, then we also have what is this? What is this restricted mode? Yeah, that's the that's the um, lockdown. Now we have loot derby running in the background. And uh, I'm sure there are other game modes, uh, you know, that didn't pop to my mind, but these are like pretty much the, the main ones, but I'm sure there are more. For example, in the season six um, beta, we have the new isolation mode, which is the battle royale mode. And then I also know that we're going to have a solo mode going forward, like at one point being introduced, um, which may be somehow related to Mm, what they announced on AB Infinite, like the you know, AI teams, the F-A-C-U-L, the FACUL or whatever that is. And then there was talk about having campaign mode. And I think we already listed like 10 game modes, guys, 10 game modes, and all of them are temporary. So, 
and and most of them are not giving you like super huge or or like extraordinary rewards it's it's actually the other other, other side like team elimination i think it wasn't tempting enough for players because you had to be really good at the game to you know to keep your coin balance um on i mean without without actually losing money so the point i want to make is that i feel like that it's just getting too much i don't know how you feel about that but i was really enjoying the game in season one two three and even four i really liked the addition of tv station for example i think it was really challenging and really well welcomed by the players but you know when i heard about mine i felt like oh come on do we really need this and and it, it's not just that if we want to introduce something else next to the core gameplay to the core game then why don't we like you know somehow present it to the players which, which is not just a temporary event it should be somehow like switching to that mode and then you have multiple options in that mode instead we get it for like two weeks or three weeks and then it's gone and we have no clue what to expect and because of that i think there's just literally you know not uh, you know big enough interest because why why you want to focus on isolation why you want to become like an expert in that mode if you know that it's going to be gone anyways and i have the same feeling for like like many of the things that are that have recently happened but that's just one one side of the coin because even on top of the game modes we have all these events running and I think for most of the casual players, it's getting confusing. Like we have the airdrops, now we have the alien PC, alien PC, by the way, alien PC guys, you know, I don't want to derail, but there's a big thing happening. There's going to be a creator giveaway. And I was working really hard to put something together to shine. And I truly hope I'm going to get your vote, but you know, a couple of days, you're going to find out it, it's going to be big. It's going to be very, very huge. Anyways, alien PC event, then we have all kind of, you know, collecting type of events, then you need to gather items, then you need to exchange them. There's just so much happening in your breakout, which, um, which is, you know, from one angle, which is actually good because we are being overwhelmed with new content, but it's actually so much that even as a content creator who is putting in tons of time into creating content, it's almost impossible to keep up with the pace, like to cover everything, all the game, all the new game modes, all the new events, all the new skins. Skins, by the way, I, I don't even want to mention skins, but in the past, I, I will mention skins for a second. Like in the past, when we had the first knife, what, what was that? Let me show you. I actually have that customized. What is it? Uh, this one, Tiger Shark Knife. It's the very first skin we had in the game. I think it's the very first skin, definitely the very first knife. And this was available at a reasonable price. And, uh, and it wasn't the case that we've been getting like a skin every second, uh, you know, every second day. Now we have so many that I, I have the feeling that most of the players are like logging in and, and then, you know, thinking that, okay, what is this? This is new. I'm okay. I don't, I don't care because I want to play lockdown. I will play normal mode or forbidden mode or whatever mode. Um, so that's why there is not a, like a huge interest. It's just, it feels like it's not, it, there is no, like, I don't know, a, a roadmap behind this, or maybe not a good enough strategy maybe it makes sense for the development team of what's happening maybe they are measuring the numbers maybe they are putting in these events to kind of check how it resonates with the players and maybe based on the data they collect they're gonna make one of the game modes like more uh, not more like permanent and maybe that's why it's happening but we are pretty much in the dark i had absolutely no freaking clue that battle royale is gonna come to arena breakout and therefore, I feel like there's a bit of a confusion. So what would I do? Because I, this video is not about complaining. Don't get me wrong. I don't want to complain. I love that we have so many options, but I want to share what I would do if I would be sitting in the development team or, you know, in that management team who is uh, responsible for game design and such. What I would do is that I would clearly um, separate the core, you know, gameplay from, from everything that is like, um temporary or 
you know, we are experimenting with that and I would clearly communicate that. I would communicate that in advance instead of just dropping it into the game. I would say that guys, we're going to, we're going to try team elimination because you have been begging for it for a long time. And then here's, you know, the pilot, try it out, give us feedback. And if this game mode is going to be a success, we can eventually consider making it permanent and adding it to the game as, you know, a, a secondary game type. And, and that's also something important to understand. Like we are, um, in a, a position where like, er, I, I cannot differentiate anymore. What is the, like the, um, the, the, the objective of the game, because there's just so much happening. But anyways, back to my thought process. So I would communicate that via Discord or whatever, and then actually ask the players to give feedback. And if it's a fail, then I wouldn't want to push that. And honestly, Battle Royale, I'm, <laughs> I'm, I'm, I would say I'm hyped about it. Maybe hyped is not the, the perfect word. So I'm interested to try the Battle Royale, but if I would want to play a Battle Royale game, then I would play something else and not Arena Breakout. If I would want to play a team elimination type of game, I would play again something else, but not Arena Breakout. So we are trying to squeeze all these game modes into Arena Breakout, and I don't think it actually makes sense. What I think makes sense or would make sense if the dev teams want to address like the more casual players is to have some kind of hardcore versus casual type of differentiation where people could eventually like decide if they want to keep the the current you know way of playing the game and there would be a more casual maybe with a with an adjusted hitbox or something to address you know, those who want that type of arcade -ish type of experience. But I wouldn't want to go far away from the original um, topic of the game, which is a shooter, looter type of experience, because we have, as I said, just too much. And uh, the reason why I, I want to talk about this is because you can hear my opinion, and I'm also offering you a chance to share your opinion. What you think about the game modes? Do you even play the game modes? The, you know, the temporary ones, if you play them, do you play all of them or just, you know, occasionally trying them and then move back or move on, move back to your original maps and, and all kind of stuff. I'm really, I'm really curious because if I can gather, um, valuable information, then I can eventually directly send it over to the dev team or maybe share it with iStream. Um, and then iStream can somehow bundle it uh, into his feedback. And ultimately the goal is to make this a better a better game. And uh, you know, nobody ever taught that game developers know exactly what to do. Sometimes they try to you know, find good solutions and that's why I think the community has a huge role and um, speak up, share your opinion, share what you think. And then, you know, we're going to try to make something happen. So this is actually what I wanted to cover. And I hope I didn't disappoint you by not giving you gameplay or such. You had to watch my lovely character in the background. But I, I think we need sometimes these talking head sessions where I can like freely talk and share my opinion on something and then also offering you the you know the, the the option to give your opinion to me to us creators and uh as i said i i'm working on something big the alienware pc video you know i'm i'm not i'm not gonna spoil it just you know put notifications on because um i think it's gonna hit hard at least I hope so. And I hope I'm going to have your support. And with this closing thought, I'm going to end the video. Shoot, loot, subscribe, and see you in the next one. Shady out. Bye.